So today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make some food for somebody like me who I used to live with Kick and used to make me all kinds of good food. She doesn't, um, she's not here so she can't make me any food anymore. So I had to start figuring out how to do it myself. I, last week I asked ChatGPT how to make something because uh, I didn't know what to make for this, for this uh, potluck. Uh, for this church that I'm going to and so I just told chat GPT what I had in my cupboard and told me uh, you know or ask it hey what do I make out of this and it came up with a really good dish called um, Italian uh, Italian rice and vegetable bake or Italian vegetable rice bake and then the next week I did it with uh, chicken and I had food I had meals all the way through the week for lunch and dinner so I'm going to do it again this week because it was so good and it was so easy. And so I'm going to do it right now. Well, here I am making the rice. I got to turn it down now. I got to set my timer for 15 minutes. There's Mr. Lucky Dog waiting for me to drop some food. Here's my house. You can see outside, there's my front yard and the truck that I brought. I really love li living here, it's so beautiful. So here are the ingredients that I'm going to be working with. I've got broccoli, mozzarella cheese, mushrooms, green beans, spinach, a couple of tablespoons of butter, and 10 pieces of chicken. I've got thighs this time. Um, so I'll go ahead and make all of this. I'll show you how to make it. And then it gets me all the way through the work week because I eat one in the afternoon for lunch, one thigh, and then one thigh in the evening. And of course, you have to have the rice also. First thing I do is I put the butter into the pan and melt it down. Once I get it all melted down, then I will put my different vegetables in there. Leave, don't put the cheese in, just put it in the vegetables. Now that the butter's all nice and melted, go over, go ahead and grab some broccoli. All right, so I got the rest in there. I had to kind of hurry it up. I didn't want the butter to burn. I didn't want the other stuff to cook quicker than the rest. I wanted it all cooked together. So I went ahead and put the broccoli, spinach, green beans, everything in together with the with the butter. I'll mix this up and I'll let it cook for about four minutes. So you can see it's looking nice and yummy. I kind of want to eat it right now. Next thing I'm going to do is grab the spaghetti sauce. All right now just pour the spaghetti sauce in here. Make sure to cover it because you don't want that spaghetti sauce going everywhere all over the kitchen. So now my rice is ready. I'll go ahead and fluff that up and I'll put a small, not a small, like a one inch or two inch layer on the bottom of the pan. We'll put some of it in here. Actually, it looks like it might be the right amount. And I made three cups of rice. So now we got a layer of rice on the bottom. All right, so our spaghetti sauce has been simmering for all right, about five minutes. I don't want to spread it around.
Let's go ahead and get this on here. Okay, so it's been about 90 minutes and I just pulled this out of the oven. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Get a good look. It looks pretty good. What I'd like to do is make sure that it's done. And so go in, cut it. Yep, it's cooked all the way through. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and put some cheese on top. Cheese makes everything better. All right, now put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes or so. Okay, so it's time to take a look. It's finally finished. And there is our finished product. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and get some bags and pull all of these one by one, put them in some uh, Ziplocs like this. And each one will be in a Ziploc and it'll be all ready in the freezer. I just got to pull it out the night before and then I'll have lunch and dinner ready. So let's, I'm going to eat one of them now. See how they, Take a look at what it looks like. That looks delicious. I can't wait to eat that. Thank you for watching the video today. Next time I'll take you around to a pizza place in Wrangell. Also, I'll drive you around a little bit and show you downtown. And by the way, that clicking noise you heard through the whole video, that's Lucky walking around all the time with his long nails on the floor. Click, click. Walk around, Lucky. Walk around. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. Lucky talking.